I love Lewis Rossman. He does videos on MacBook repairs, and more importantly for this discussion, he talks about issues with hardware, right to repair, bad manufacturing, and other things. You really should go check out his channel if you care about these kinds of things. But there's something that Lewis is missing in his right to repair discussions. See, he'll talk about issues where the manufacturers will stop you from repairing your device, ostensibly for your security. So if you get a camera replaced on a Samsung phone, I believe it was, the camera won't work. Even if you take a phone that is brand new, and take a camera from another identical phone that is brand new and switch it over, it won't work. Because they are what's known as serialized. The cameras have a number in them, and the computer in the phone asks the camera what its number is, and if it doesn't match what the computer is paired to, then it refuses to operate with it. Now, Samsung's pulling out the excuse that, oh, this is, this is to protect your children from having their pictures taken by a, by a bogus camera. Which, is that really even a thing? Like, are there really bugged cameras for phones that people are melting phones down and replacing the phones and able to modify the camera such that they can snatch photographs of people without their knowledge or consent? <clears throat> you know, something tells me that's not quite true. But here's what Lewis is missing. The whole thing with replacing a home button and the touch sensor not working, replacing a camera and the camera being disabled, unlocking a bootloader and the camera being disabled. What's going on with these? Now, anybody who just looks at these is going to think, boom, okay, hardware. It's a hardware thing. These hardware manufacturers are selling you a piece of hardware, your phone, your computer, whatever it is. They're selling you a device. And then when they sell you that device, they are then turning things off on that device if you attempt to repair them. Like this phone right here that won't stop beeping every time I make a damn video. This phone. Well, is this phone, is this phone my phone or is it someone else's phone? Well, the logical answer is I paid a few hundred dollars for this phone. Some people pay thousands. I paid for this phone. It's my phone. It's my property to do with what I want. And these hardware manufacturers are preventing me from doing things to my phone. It's all hardware, except this is what you're missing, my friend. It is not hardware. All of these problems are software problems, not hardware problems. It's a hardware problem if your phone is glued together and you can't replace the battery inside of it or take the battery out or replace components without heating it up and ungluing it. That's a hardware problem. It's a software problem when someone turns off your camera for you because the bootloader's unlocked. That's not the hardware doing that. That's the software doing that. So the discussion kind of needs to move from the hardware to the software. And I know he's touched on this, for example, with John Deere, Tesla, with them, you know, turning things on or off or not letting you repair your tractor because the software is there. So here's what I propose needs to be thrown into the ring and added to this whole right to repair discussion. This is what you need to pay attention to. It all comes down to software. Now, what is the solution for this software problem? The law has to be changed. Copyright law, as it stands, allows manufacturers to basically say, well, <clears throat> we'll make this thing and we'll make this complex pile of software that goes on top of this thing, and then we'll sell this thing to you for several hundred or thousand dollars, and well, okay, yeah, sure, you own the hardware, you own the hardware, but the software, you don't own that. That's, that's a lease. That is a licensed, copyrighted work. That is not something that you get to own. The software on that phone, the bootloader, the firmware for the radio, the operating system, the apps on top of it, the frameworks that go in between everything, all of that is owned by someone else. All of that is subject to terms and conditions, is subject to a user agreement. It's subject to all of these things. And we reserve the right to revoke your license to the software that your hardware is completely useless without at any time, for any reason. 
we are we are not giving you a copy of the software. We are licensing it to you. And that's it. So what I propose is the law must be changed. Because copyright law lets them do this, the law must be changed such that the copy of software that comes with a device that is required to use that device must remain perpetually functional. You must have a right, a legal right, and this would have to be added or modified in copyright law. You should have a legal right to have and maintain a copy, a functional copy, in perpetuity of all software that is required to make a piece of hardware work as advertised, or if they add functionality later, you are entitled to retain that functionality that is added later. Because the problem is that you don't own the copy of the software. See, this is the thing. Copyright law does not distinguish between your copy of the software and the ownership of the people that made the software or that pulled the software from others and compiled it together. There's no real distinction. It's you have a copy, but it's not yours. It's still the copyright holder's copy. Now, copyright law does give you a few very limited rights. For example, making a single backup copy. Good luck backing up all that stuff on your phone, by the way. If you don't have access to it, you can't back it up. That's another thing. <clears throat> Another thing that needs to be added to this, in addition to you being given a perpetual copy, a perpetually functional copy of the software required to make the hardware work, you also need to have the rights to that software such that you have full access to it. So, for example, one of the big things they like to do is lock bootloaders. You need to have the right not only to access the software, but to be able to change it if you want to. Locking you out of your own device should be prohibited by law. You have a right to the data on that device. You have a right to the software on your cell phone, tablet, laptop, car, you have the right, and you should have the unlimited right to do whatever you want with your copy that you are entitled to of that software. There should not be a ban on reverse engineering or decompiling it. There should not be a ban on modifying it. That copy should be yours. No, you should not get a full license to the software. You should not be able to redistribute that software to everyone else. But your copy of that software, you should have unlimited rights to. What this means is, for example, if you have a Tesla and they have features that are turned on or off in software, you should have the right to change the software on your device, your Tesla. You should have the right to turn those features on yourself by modifying that software and installing a copy that you have modified solely for your hardware. And this is the thing. You don't own the copy. They own the copy and they just lease it to you through a license. You should own your software on your hardware because they are inextricably linked. If you pay $2,000 for a flagship Samsung foldable phone, or you pay $60,000, why are you doing that? For a Tesla, why are you buying a Tesla? If you're paying that kind of money for a device, it doesn't even matter. If you're paying $20 for a phone, you should have full access to the software on that device. You own that copy of that software, or at least you should. That is the way it should be. That is not the way that it is. But that's some food for thought. Lewis, I hope that you see this video and take this into account. I hope that this has been educational for all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, look down in the bottom. There's all kinds of fun ways that you can uh, support me. And yeah, these lights are blinding me. Oh God, look at that. Oh, it hurts. Um, I appreciate you listening. Have a wonderful day. Take care. And uh, I look forward to your comments down below. See ya.